Welcome back, folks, to Cosmic Brilliance for part two with extraordinary super soldier guest, Renetta Jones. We will begin where we ended part one as she was describing her visit to the famed El Dorado City of Gold, where she and her friend James, another super soldier, along went along with her and met King Open of El Dorado. Access was allowed because she carries the ancient Atlantean and Kemet, which is the ancient Egyptian royal DNA, a necessity to activate spaceship arts, portals, halls of records, and ancient artifacts that are being discovered all over the world, in the oceans, and inside our Earth. As a diplomatic representative for King Oban of El Dorado, at the end of the show, she will share relevant messages from him and what he wants us to know as surface dwellers on Earth. Renetta will also share her extraordinary visits to Atlantis, meeting Isis, and going through multiple phases to engage with the heavily guarded Atlantean living library. For the first timers, please listen to part one. And here's a super, super quick bio for Renetta. She's a native of Trinidad, has all her abilities online, including opening portals, cyber tech on the left side of her body, proven by x-rays and scans. These shows are about her two recent trips to El Dorado and Atlantis with her super soldier friend, James, who shared those experiences. So welcome back, Renetta, and thank you so much. I know how busy you are and that you're squeezing us in so that we can finish about Atlantis and your incredible paradigm shattering discoveries. Thank you. It's actually um, it's actually an honor because I wasn't sure how people would take the story of um, El Dorado, being that we were taught it was mythological. But I'm beginning to be realize that what they tell us was mythology. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! I realize what they what they're telling us is mythology is actually true. And what they're telling us is true is actually myth. So, yeah. <laughs> well so said. So it's like, oh, these yeah. civilizations exist. These entities exist. Um, I, From what I gather with Isis and um, King Oban was that they, they want to be able to come to the surface, but they have to get it into the psyche of the people that they're not enemies. And they want to help the human race. But, you know, both both came to the conclusion that Earth is ruled via tyrants. And that is why they live in two realms. One is the visible realm and one is the invisible realm. And the invisible realm, you have to have a very high vibration in order to see them, in order to see it. So the standards of purification, because most people, what they were taught about ISIS is horrific. I mean, really horrific, what they were taught about ISIS. And ISIS made it very clear to me, you cannot trust anything you learn on the surface. Because on the surface, female deities are vilified, and there's a reason for that. So that way, you would never look into the fact that the female deity created the female archetype. Mm -hmm. They want you to believe that the male deity created the female archetype. No, it's a female deity that created the female archetype. Okay, the female design, the intricacies, right? And that's something that she wanted the world to know. So I'm here, I'm ready, let's get started. Uh, all right, well, I'm glad you could share what Isis wanted to share. And uh, yes, I agree, uh, we humans on uh, the surface uh, really struggle with discerning through all the lies and misinformation and whatever, it's quite an art form to do that. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. It's, absolutely. It's, um, mm -hmm. But we're doing it. We're forging ahead, no matter what. So absolutely. Um, thank you for that. Now, mm -hmm. as spoken, we left off with part one when you were describing King Oban, whose people mm -hmm. actually levitate. Uh, yeah. as they don't walk and travel no. by floating above the ground that was covered the entire city that you wanted to see because you were interested in their technology, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, was shimmering living gold, and mm -hmm. which is called living gold, she described in part one. Mm -hmm. And you were um, 
said you had to walk very carefully because there was golden artifacts strewn everywhere and trinkets and they're floating so they don't care but you're having to like carefully you and James are having to carefully step and uh, that's kind of where we left off so can you share any last minute things about people you noticed buildings you noticed anything like that okay sure but i want to talk i want to add on to that from our last trip when we went back because i thought that was fascinating so when we first got there we our feet were on the ground okay and that's when we had to literally tiptoe through everything because they don't walk they levitate right mm -hmm. and their levitation is really interesting by the way they can levitate really slow or they can let glide levitate is just the hovering part but then the movement could be really slow, which was the first time we went, we went. But then the second time, it was like a moving train. Well, but okay, fo okay, folks, she and uh, a couple of her students went again in their astral bodies last Friday. So that's what she's describing. She's catching us up on her second visit. Go ahead. Yeah, so the first one, when we landed, our feet touched the ground. So we were like, oh my goodness, what is this place? And there were like these small trinkets. And I want to show you maybe about, this is a poster, but about this size. But they were like everywhere. Kind of like how a child would leave a room. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they just strewn everywhere, you know, like, you know, really interesting. So after we kind of like familiarized ourselves, like, whoa. And when King Oban anointed us, we were on the ground. But when we started to move, we levitated. Oh, yeah. now that makes sense. And mm. I, uh, because that would be normal in your, your astral body, but also mm. when you were anointed the first time and folks, she was allowed to drink just a little bit of the living gold uh, yeah. because too much would have moved her into her uh, expanded- A life. higher body. Yeah. And, and I would have been targeted even more. So the fact mm. that you also had that sip, do you think that also made the- uh, levitation easier or not necessarily i think the breathing and the levitation okay yeah that's right because you were yeah. describing all that because you needed it originally for breathing because the air down there is different right they'd be right, dealing with right. stronger electromagnetic forces whereas on the earth the surface level the on the surface level the electromagnetic forces um on the surface level of earth are a little bit weaker down there stronger that's, that's right. And you and uh, allows you to breathe because the living goal replaces, you said, the lower oxygen level and yeah. mitochondria, which folks, I'm sure you know this, but they're the organelles in our human bodies that produce our energy. That's so right. That, and Absolutely. Didn't, that, didn't that allow you to be comfortable in a couple seconds? Wasn't it really? Yeah, literally. Fast? Because I kept telling James, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Yeah. And then they gave me this spoon. Well, it wasn't really a spoon, but it was kind of like wooden, actually. Anyway, and I took a sip and immediately my lungs started to relax. And then they telepathically said to me, it's because down here we don't run on oxygen. So we have to replace the oxygen with living gold. And it powers the body. It powers the mitochondria differently. So we're being lied to about everything. Oh. That's my conclusion. I want to update you to last Friday because I think this is fascinating. Yes, please. So we, we, and I want to talk to you about the different types of technology that they have there because they showed us, sorry, they showed us even more technology that they had there. The one part that I was fascinated by was when we, when we got down, when we landed, um, and I, we had to wait because people were landing at different times, different speeds, that kind of stuff, right? Some you're, came, you're, some, from your class. Yeah, some jumped like right away. Some were like, wee! And they just took the cosmic jump, you know? Whereas other people were like, ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. And it makes sense. It's like, okay, I'm jumping into a black hole in a mountain. I really got to trust Renetta. You know, so some were, we were landing at different times. But when we all arrived, right? One of the first places they wanted us to see was their garden. This is what I found was fa fascinating. The garden had blue skies with no sun. All the skies was light blue. Now, what they did is they shifted the way I saw because I was guiding them, right? 
they shifted the way I saw. And what they did is in front of me, the garden where they get their food and stuff was a waterfall. But they did something to my, my eyes where they took me above ground and then below ground. It was like shh, shh. above ground. It was a waterfall that went to waterfall underground. So an above waterfall, right? And then the waterfall above ground where we are went underground into a massive waterfall, right? So, so, so they did this kind of, shh, shh. so I saw it on two levels. Connecting, connecting, but yeah, but it was like phase joining. Two yeah, yeah. Joining. yeah. Literally like that, right? And then, are you ready for this? Everything was singing. <gasps> yes. Everything, but it wasn't, it wasn't the song of nature. It was like, it was singing happy and rejoicing. We made it. It was an actual song, everything. The trees were singing, the water was singing, the food was singing, the plants were singing, the animals were singing, the people were singing in the garden. Everything was singing this song of joy. Now, when you said we made it, were they, were they singing because of their natural um, soul signatures and that everything has sound and it's like a symphony? Or were they also doing that to greet you? There was, I thought it was a greeting. Wow. But it wasn't the songs of nature, like a cicada, like a frog. No, it was an actual song. Wow. It was a song. The trees were singing. The water was singing. He picked this fruit. It was huge, like maybe about this, right? And it was red. To me, it looked like a tomato, but I don't think it was a tomato. Okay, it was like huge. It kind of looked like a, the size was like a mango, but it kind of looked like a tomato, but it wasn't. The food was singing. Like the food was happy that we'd eat it. Like I am sharing myself with you. Oh. Everything sang. And it sang in unison, like a choir, like an orchestra. And I'm like, this is your garden. Wow. It gets even crazier. When we came out of the garden, the walls that we passed by, they started to, like, you ever seen pixelation? Mm -hmm. They started to pixelate, but gold pixelation. And they started to sing. The walls were singing. The same song, this garden in the earth was singing and they were rejoicing that we were there. So this, and here's where it gets crazy. This is a I huge mean, deal that you brought the, that you're starting to bring these people here. This is a huge deal. It, they rejoice. It was like they were rejoicing that their children came home. That's what it felt like to me. That's what I got from the garden. And that's where they get their food. I mean, when they talk about living water, they're not joking. But here's the, here's the interesting thing, right? When I was there and everything was singing, they were singing, okay? But they weren't singing in English for me to understand, right? But here is what I got. Here's what I got. Here's what I got. They were singing. And when they were singing, in my head was this is what the earth was before the flood. Everything lived. Everything had spirit. And, they, and while they were singing, I was getting, they are removing the spirit of everything. Mm -hmm. That is what I was getting from the song. So when they say live in gold, no, it's not monoatomic gold they're talking about. When they say living water, okay? And then yesterday in my meditations, I was brought back to the archetype known as Jesus. Jesus spoke about living water. Yes. Look at the baptism he, he had with, you know, yeah. practices. But, he, but, but Jesus said that when you have the spirit, fountains of living, Jesus actually said living water. And it's so funny because King Oban said, Jesus existed. He said, however, he didn't exist the way they tell you. And that's when he told us the secrets of, you know, Jesus, which, I, which we'll talk about later about the gold and the myrrh and the frankincense and why 
they chose those things. Go ahead and say that now, because when yeah. you told me that story, I'm 100% in agreement with you. Because I've always felt the star was a ship and the and Magi is defined by magicians, astrologers, magicians. astronomers, alchemists. alchemists. Yeah. Alchemists. So, so yeah. please tell them because, and this yeah. is meant for, for those of you that are taking everything in the Bible and all the books, you know, word for word, this is met with the highest respect. Okay. okay. But it's time for all of us to just broaden our perspectives to a little bit. So go ahead and share that because I think that's profound. Yeah. So when he got into like, for example, King Oban gives respect to Jesus. And when we first met him, he said, actually, Renetta's wrong. Renetta doesn't believe Jesus existed. And King Oban said, no, we know he existed because the gold that was brought to him was living gold. And the myrrh and frankincense was living. Now, it goes deeper than, gen than him just being a king. The myrrh and frankincense, they're resins. And what resins do is they hold the essence of something. It can literally hold the physical body and the essence of something for thousands of years, okay? Now the gold, the living gold is transformative, one, because Jesus was a king. You bring king gold, you bring king's gold. That is the signature of kings, right? Gold, that's one of the, the, the metals. But the gold was literally for his ascension. Was it like activating his light body? Yeah, it was, it was, okay. What he explained to me was by the nature of Jesus, this, this archetype Jesus coming to earth. He said, the mere fact of coming into this particular dimension, you lose a lot of power. Yes. He and said, memory. the living and, and memory. memory. And literally the moment you come in, it shuts down a large portion of the neurons in the brain. So what the living gold did was open up the brain. OK, this is why he was able to challenge the religious leaders as a child. And that caused them to be targeted, you know, but the neurons in the brain, brain were opened up because the alchemists, wise men, they were alchemists. They're not going to bring him regular gold. They were alchemists. They're going to bring him the living gold. They were you alchemists. Can you explain why it's those three things, because it's true. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I study essential oils and those resins are in a, almost like a preservative in a way. And in that's a, what they use for. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the living gold concept is so perfect because I would imagine, this is just what I'm imagining, that mm -hmm. all beings, except for the latest generations, as mm -hmm. the matrix goes down, all had to play the game of earth so they all had to come in and kind of forget who they were and blah 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 and then trust that they would awaken so this meant that as soon as he was born he was given the activation right yeah and so are you saying that's the real reason for anointing or for for baptism that, that specific anointing now i didn't get the secrets of the anointing with the with the water I got the anointing with the gold, the myrrh, and the frankincense. And what they, what I was shown was they told you they gave his mother, they gave his family, they brought him. That's not what happened. What I was shown is that he was rubbed down with it. Okay? And then yeah. with the gold, it, he was given gold as, as wealth, but he was also given gold as an elixir yep yeah and i was shown this was the proper way you greeted a king you don't give them myrrh and frankincense you anoint them with myrrh and frankincense so once again we've been lied to i think the gold protected him in a way because think about it if they could find him devils could find him too yeah so i'm wondering if the myrrh and the frankincense not just anointed him, but shielded him. Remember, it acts as a resin. It acts as a, um, the resins act as a holding. It can hold the life force of something. So I'm wondering if it's, um, if in that culture in the Middle East, Middle East, if it shields people from evil. Oh, that's fascinating. As a spiritual shield. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Because I, in that I region. It makes you invisible in a way. 
from all yeah, the satellite I, scanning of how much light people have. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And also in, in that region, in the region, in the East in particular, they burn a lot of myrrh and frankincense. And why do they do that? They say it's to drive out evil energies. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think they didn't just hand him myrrh and frankincense. They were encapsulating his energy and shielding him. And purifying. And, and that's the, liquid, the living gold. And yeah. then later he would go through the water kingdom. So, you know, for Christian, yeah, I mean, but that's what it is. The, you know, I tell Christians all the time and, you know, they, you know, they think I'm a sorcerer, but I'm like, it's right there in your Bible. You open up Genesis 1, right? And he said, oh, you know, I said, what's the first thing your God says he does when he initiates creation? Mm -hmm. Oh, his spirit hovers on the water. Okay, what do you think is going on when he's hovering on the water? It's a conversation. Yes. What does that tell you? It tells you that the water is alive. Yes. Yes. It tells you that. It was what you were talking about tuning, what you were teaching us in part one that uh, Oban and the Atlanteans and, and all of us when we were pre Atlantean floods, which we'll get into. Absolutely. You know, we're able to tune in with nature, just like animals still do today, right? Like we were talking about, that's why they know when a tsunami is coming, people are sitting there sunbathing and they've taken off. And they're, taking off. and they're taking off. How is it that the animals are more in tune to what's coming than humans? And we're supposed to be high IQ? No, what I was taught, and this is just my opinion, what I was taught was emotional and spiritual intelligence. Yes. It's supposed to be on the same level as IQ, intellect, brain power. And it's literally like spiritual, emotional intelligence is all the way down here. And we're pushing IQ and then we're leading ourselves into cataclysm, catastrophe, I should say. Right, because of addiction to false tech as a way of enlightenment. Absolutely, as yeah. opposed to spirit. And yes. when I say spirit, I mean right spirit. So continue, so first of all, the garden. Then you saw, yeah. you've heard all the plants and trees singing. Right. And right. what they wanted us to know was that everything had spirit. And I, I believe the spirit of the creator, the spirit of source, as many people call it, right? The energy, the life force of what created everything. And it wanted us to know this is what the earth used to be like. Yes. Right. And then we were taken. You yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. You know mm. what I'm getting? And this is my um, major thing with my shows. And, and yeah. we're just, I know we're telepathic with each other, but mm. one of the reasons why, which is obvious mm -hmm. to those of us that want to own that we're creators, we can only create something we know exists or envisions that we can envision. And right. now that you've had the experience, the envision, mm -hmm. and yes. that's been activated again, right? Yes. I'm not talking about downloads. I'm just talking about the ability yes. to Waking create up. into this hologram and reality mm -hmm. what you want to envision, which is right. Atlantis coming back, <laughs> right? In a certain, yeah. in an yeah. improved, balanced, beautiful state. So it's not mm -hmm. as having necessarily to learn something new because mm -hmm. we were once there. Right. <laughs> it's right. about us awakening to the truth of our being. I think you got it. I think you got, I think you, you got El Dorado. I think you got Atlantis. And I think what it is, part of it is pulling it from raising the frequency to pull it from the invisible to the visible. But I'm beginning to wonder if in order for the frequency to ri arise, Atlantis must be in you. Yes. The kingdom is in you. Yes. What is we that? Are, what we that are mean? the universe. By the way, we were not moving the, the way we were moving the first time we went. They had us going, shoo, shoo. Really okay, fast. yeah, we were moving fast because when we were moving, it, it's not like, oh, I'm going from one room to another. I realized this thing is probably 100 square miles, 200 square miles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We won't have a Trinidad anymore. I can guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. Okay. At one point in time, I believe we were under the mountains in Venezuela. Okay. Another part, I believe we were under the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this thing is way bigger than, than we realize, right? 
Were you so, popping to portals or were you going through the interconnected tunnels that go everywhere? We were literally going through these massive, massive rooms, like halls. Yeah. But we were moving very fast, like a mad left train. But we w there were no trains. We were the train. You were the right? Train. So they had us moving at a much faster. And that's another thing I realized, too. They really talked about the spirit. And they wanted to drill that, like, the most advanced technology is the spirit. You don't need maglev trains. It's the spirit. And that's what they wanted to drill. I, I experienced, but here's the crazy thing. How is it that myself and 20 other people had the same experience? Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. So it tells you, hey, I think there's something here, right? Did they all, were they all able to have full recall or did they all come back with remembering pieces and, and then pieces. you all put it together? Yeah. And yeah. together you, you put it together. Yeah. And then in the end, I wanted everyone to go because I didn't want to influence my experience on them. So I let them go first. And then I told them my experience and it was like, ding, 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 ding. And I wanted to hear their experience to match it with mine. Yeah. You see? And then when we compared, it was like, okay, group hallucination or did we all go there? <laughs> right? Yeah, it was really like. Oh, well, as long as the hallucination's fun. Hey. <laughs> when people came back crying and they had peace. No, this is the no, time to remember who you are, period. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. You got period. it. Period. You know? The source is within you. The universe is within you. Yeah. And even if you don't understand it, the willingness to explore and you being there as a safe guide for them all was an incredible yeah. experience. And I believe you said in part one that King Oban asked you to bring anyone back who was willing because you needed am i making this up or did he say you need about a thousand people mm. who can hold that frequency so that there can be a merging of the densities is that yeah to bring el dorado from invisible to visible yep yeah he, what he what he wanted he said anyone who is um what's the word i'm looking for there's a he said a lot of humans have lost their spirit meaning they're greedy oh. they're wicked they're you know filled with hate you know um whatever right on the negative end, an end of the spectrum he said if they are genuine and they will know oh, yeah. he said tell them to come and we will start activating repairing their spirit wow boy that's a gift yeah. and i can understand some being afraid because the last thing you want to yeah. do is hop on somebody's spaceship because of the past and the everything yeah. else we've learned right yeah. so mm -hmm. it's like you have to really trust and yeah. I believe a lot of people in the last 10 years are resonating to remembering lifetimes on the Murian Atlantis and because we're completing a cycle, but we're doing it in a different way. He's like anyone who's on the negative end of the spectrum, if they genuinely want to change, mm -hmm. let them come and we will start renewing their spirit. He kept saying, he said, technology was given to compensate for loss of spirit. Absolutely. Anything to share more in the in the El Dorado experience, which was really profound from the first and the second visit, anything? Okay, so we went from the eastern part of this empire to the western part of the empire, which is really interesting. The garden was in the east hmm, and their healing room was in the west. Isn't that funny? Yes. Because in the east is where you get your Garden of Eden. Yes. Your spirituality comes from the east. And a lot of healing technologies are out of the West. We went to the Western part of the city, right? And then when we got there, there were these beds. They were all pure gold tables. Okay. I have the to real draw med beds. Yeah. I, I mean, med beds is kind of like technology. Right. This was solid gold tables yes. that were rectangular with a, with a um, base in the middle, solid gold, right? And we saw people laying on these beds. Now, here's the crazy thing. If the person came in and whatever malady they had, the gold would start getting darker. It was as if the gold was absorbing all of the sickness, the illness, the aging. Because we were trying to figure out how do they live to a million years old? It's because they have a technology that literally pulls and I don't know how they do it, but it's gold. 
it pulls the sickness out of their body and it pulls the aging out of their cells. And the way it worked was the gold started getting really dark. Okay. And I'm like, is that gold? It got so dark. I thought it was like bronze, but it was gold. And then it started from the head of the table where their head was down to their feet. It started doing this scan, the table, the gold. Okay. Scanning. And then the people would get up off the bed when it was done. Then they went into a second part where they were steamed. Some, they had this kind of steam that opened up the pores and then they steamed the um, steamed gold into their pores. Okay. Did you use living water at that point? Yeah, it looked like a combination of, of, of like gold particulates and steam when it came out. And it literally steamed them from head to foot. And then the third part was a solid, it was a solid gold slab. In the center of the gold slab, you just saw this circle. And what came out of it was a light. The light, I think this is what, refraction? No, reflection, that's reflection, right? So it was a light and the light was like this, reflection, right? And it, what it did is it began to scan the body from head to foot. But what I noticed was that when they came up, came up off the table, they looked a hundred years younger. Now, did they maintain that as they came up here? When no, this was all, this was, all, I didn't see them go up. I saw them stay down. This is all underground. No, 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 no. But these, no. are these the citizens or are these your students going through this? No, this is El Dorado, the El Dorado ones. They wanted oh, okay. us to see. Okay, these are the citizens. This yeah, is how they yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This... But can yes. I tell you something crazy? At yeah. some point in time, I said, "Are they scanning my? Are they like purifying my students?" Yeah, I think they are. That's what I, that's I think what I want. that's what I was getting. That it's part of the deal. That those that are brave enough to come and yeah. sincere enough to come, that this is the gift they're giving them back, so yeah. that they are kind of walking vibrational you know, yeah. broadcasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, what you're describing, I have the deepest memory of. It. It's just like, this is how, this is how you do it. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. And it was like, no technology. Technology, but not technology. Yep. Like, well, you can't distinguish the, the between nature and tech. Coming back to me is source technology. Source technology. <laughs> Source technology, golden. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps coming. That's that why. Go ahead. Sense. No, 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 please. It's because it's it's lighting up my brain like that makes sense. It's source. It's gold. It's like the it's like the largest part of source, and it contains mm. this golden, vibrant, all knowledge, all energy, and memory because we're water of the true original source state. And, I think you know, so. and we know the med beds work on, uh, you know, taking your best blueprint holographically mm -hmm. and then shifting because all the cells in your body mm -hmm. want to have the source frequency. Right, right, right. 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 So it's mm -hmm. going to be where they're going to default to. And right. There's no time involved in this. Right. It's a resonance of the frequency and the sound where they're singing together. <laughs> that makes sense. No, that makes perfect sense because I'm trying to figure out, honestly, I'm trying to figure out like, because I'm there, I have students, I have to make sure they're safe. I have to make sure they get back. I have to make sure they don't do anything crazy. Right. You know, right. I have a lot to of make sure they're, yeah, they're, re they're respectful. While I'm managing them, I have to, I'm literally being telepathically communicated to, and I'm trying to, at the same time, when we interact with something down there, I'm trying to store what we interact with so I don't forget. So thank you for this ex interpretation because it's like, yeah, 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 it is source tech. It's very, it's very, 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 very familiar to me. It's like, wow. it's, it, it's just, that's what, that's how I can think of that's like that is how you do it. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. just how you're like trying to complicate everything. 
but yeah. you need yeah. you need the right attitude and you need mm -hmm. uh, i think which is really sincerity and mm -hmm. complete forgiveness of yourself and others yeah you need to walk into that in that state almost like the innocence of a child yeah not the stupidity yeah the, and the purity the purity yeah yeah and and there are levels to this thing oh I there bet. are levels to this thing and i realized the pure i realized I, I, a, a major understanding of yogic tradition and how they can live to 200 years old mm -hmm. um you know and why monks and yogis why they practice isolation and why they live to 100 200 years old is because there are levels to this purity thing and i realize why they can live to a million years old because purification keeping the spirit very pure yes it's a level of um it's a level i don't think the the surface of the earth if you keep yourself that pure, you have to be isolated because they'll come after you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yep. They'll come after you. And you cannot keep yourself pure like that living in a big city. I've lived in a big city. If yeah. you're as much as like 2% pure, you get attacked. I mean, by the grid. Yeah. Yeah. So I. Yeah, it's, it's like versus blend country. in. But if mm. this gold is truly also a protection, which it is. Yeah, which it is. Which it you is. Know, so yeah. it's. It's, um, and what it might be is that it'll just have this automatic separation that those that want, because what you're really talking about is those that want to step into back into the fifth density or higher as yeah. a residence field and they resonate to it and it's comfortable for them and you're still yeah. physical at that state. All yeah. of that is just different, right? And there's going to be other people that don't want to do that. Right. That's and so enough. I think there's just going to be you know, it's kind of like oil Separation. and water separates. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's literally where we are. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. That's that's hundred percent where we are. So that was the um the healing room. It was wow, crazy. that's so cool. Did, yeah. Did, did you see any other colors being used? Are uh, also the crystals on staffs? Are any onks or techno? You know that way. Yeah, that was um the staff. That staff. I actually saw a staff given to someone, but that was later. And it was, it was, um, it was funny. It was a diamond, but it was circular. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it wasn't in a regular shape how they cut diamonds. No, it was a circular orb mm -hmm. and it was given to them. So, but that was something else. But one of the things that I saw was that they started gifting everyone a gift. Yeah. And when I asked everyone, Hey, what were the gift? What were you given? Like for me, I received an orb, okay? It was a perfect globe, okay? And the globe um, had like, it was literally like a diamond globe. That was for me. James received a staff. I knew someone who received a coin. Funny enough, Oban in uh, Japanese means gold coin. Oh, there you go. I was given a coin. Another person was given a ring. Yeah. OK, so yeah. everyone received a different a different gift. And I think and I told them, I said, meditate on what these gifts mean and see how you can activate it, because I know someone who was given they were given a gift and they were taught how to activate that gift. And then they, they got back to me and they said, Renetta, I think this Oban deity is real. And I said, why? I said, I don't, I don't play around with people. I'm not fake. I'm not a fraud. I'm, I don't try to like, you know, whatever, scam people. As if it's real, it's real. If it's not, I'll tell you. And I said, why do you say that he's real? He said, because he gave me a gift. And he didn't tell me. It's later on when he activated the gift, he told me. And then he said to me that he was given a gift. He turned it on and it worked exactly the way he told him. And he said, I think this king exists, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I'm yeah. getting there's several things going on here. One is mm -hmm. the gift, even though it, mm -hmm. when you bring come back, you don't have it in your physical hand, but you mm -hmm. have it in your astral hand. Yeah. And it serves as a bridge connection. Number one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah, of these you're are made out of gold or crystal or something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're and, on it. Um, and the second is obeying the this game's rule of free will. Okay. Okay. So, so like they can't just mm. meet you outside, give you this gift, and go hi. So mm. you, with your free will, volunteered to go. You know, all these people volunteered to go down went mm. through their courage, did it, then you're not mm. invading, you're not suggesting, you're not interfering, which is what all the gods did of old. Right, 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 right. right. And so then they're allowed. Okay. And they're also monitoring the certain level of purity of the spirit of oh. beings so they don't take these gifts and misuse them, which is usually what happens topside. Say that part over because they just cut you off. Oh, what I was going to say is what mm. the military often do is they take any gift and I'm Weaponized not saying it. they're all bad. We know the whole, the mm -hmm. whole trip, but mm -hmm. they look at how they can use it as weapons or power. It's very draconian. Yeah. It's like might makes right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The gold is not might makes right. The right. water is not might makes right. No, no, so no, no. So if you're no, no. operating at bullying and strength and just think, you know, the more you gather, mm. no way, you just flunked. So, right, right, so, right, right. Right. So, mm. so what this does is it, mm. it gives them an opportunity yeah. to have the gifts of spirit in a practical way that they are wearing or holding or can access in their astral body, mm. which, as we know, controls mm -hmm. the physical body's energetic mm -hmm. output. Yeah, 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 and and it it allows them to to track the spirit, track the behavior, to make sure. Whoa, this is beginning. That's <laughs> profound. I'm thinking now. Sorry. Go ahead. Please continue. This is no, this take is really your good. Time. Take mm. your time. Take your time. It's fun just interacting this way. You no, know? because um. That's powerful. It allows them to track the spirit. And if people are becoming corrupt, mm -hmm. they'll know. Yeah. That's 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 actually smart. It's very smart. That's it's got at smart. least five levels to it. Yeah, this is this but, is this is actually well. It's mm. a military works that way. They don't do anything that doesn't have five different agendas to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm I'm, I'm also wondering if they if they don't watch this. I'm also wondering if because I'm the one taking them there. Yeah. If the gifts that they're giving them is also to track their spirit, make sure that that they're keeping a high spiritual vibration, and if they're not separating them from me. It could be, but it also could be that if they know how to come down, it's going to be a fail safe system uh, if uh, they uh, go uh. back and forth. Because if they don't hold the frequency, right, 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 right. right and, then, and, then event, and then eventually they mm -hmm. will be allowed to be mm. on those gold beds. Eventually. Okay, but, but let's say hypothetically that they, they're corrupt and fake. That gold beds are not fake. No, no, not the gold beds. The person, the person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's and say they're not holding. Then the gold will monitor that. Exactly. And then it's they don't like, get access. It's like, how do I say this? Hmm. You can't BS that's, that's so source. Brilliant. That's so you can't brilliant. BS source. This is pure source. This is, is like, so this is like a, the gold yeah. is a direct mm -hmm. frequency yeah. vibration of source. Yeah. Period. This is brilliant. At least that's, is, what, I, that's what I'm getting. This is, this is just, no, this is level of interpretation. Hmm. It's got a lot of levels to it. So see, you're developing teams of people that are going to work up to probably a thousand, right? Yeah, 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 that yeah, can yeah. affect and hold the frequency so the El Dorado can come up in Atlantis, whatever else. All <laughs> done by free will. So they're right. not imposing themselves. Right, 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 right. right. Very important. Mm. Has to be. If they hold the frequency. Yes. 
it you works have to for take them. Personal responsibility is a crime. Yeah. They're not going to babysit you. If you become, if you become a tyrant, yep. if you become greedy, yeah. if you become ego. whatever, ego. ego, ego. Oh, that's a big one. You know, ego, like, ego. wow, aren't I special? Oh, I I'm so, yeah. If you become abusive, mm -hmm. now I'm wondering the converse. It does converse it shut down? Because you're walking pure broadcasters topside. No, but I'm saying if, or inverse, inverse. Let's say okay. Well, if you're in line, is, with they're not gonna they're not gonna harm you. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up because the gold will get darker and darker and darker. I and mean, it will separate from and you. By automatic frequency, lack of the law of correspondence or coherence is right. you won't be in synchronicity with it, and you won't be allowed in. So it's and like, it won't work. It won't work. No, it won't work. Okay, that's what I was getting at. Wow, this is it's a self protective mechanism. Not based on judgment, based right. on the truth of the frequency of your being. Because at this level, you cannot lie to people. You cannot BS them, you know. And everyone always has agendas as part of the, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. There are some agendas which are cool. Like, okay, I want this from you. Is that okay? But mm. it's gotten so out of hand. And it's, yeah. it's always for might makes right because yeah. it's more challenging it, it's almost an yeah. addiction to drama mm. and programming. Right. It's more right. challenging right. to get quiet, to go inside and realize the truth of your being. Right, right, right. And I'm wondering, you know, I'm really beginning to wonder, since I'm the one bringing them, okay? Remember, when I was down there, I was responsible for them. Yeah. And one person told me they left the group and went to do their own thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm wondering if I'm bringing them, if they're not using this as a protective measure for me as well. Absolutely. Because plus, remember, I'm responsible. Plus, I'm getting that you did this. You did this uh, in the, uh, when you were queen or king or pre or noble. You're, mm -hmm. again, and again, folks, we're all equal. I love that what the Dalai Lama said. No one is special. Everyone is unique and essential. That's right. Period. Right. So when we talk about nobility or whatever, it's about bloodlines and accessing. I don't mm -hmm. care. It's not about inequality. So, right. but you, I recognize you immediately as noble. So what are you working with? Noble elements. Why are they called noble elements? It makes sense. Platinum, yeah. gold, this is, you know, the higher levels yeah. of silver, right? That's but I get right. that some of these souls that will be attracted to you that are doing this hmm. were ones you knew in the that makes sense. Am Atlantean, and yes. somehow you help them, or were connected, or were the guide there too for them. That's what I'm getting. Wake them up. Yeah, yeah, like priestess, yeah, leader, yeah. whatever. Anyway, there's you know a lot that of things to explore here. I hope I hope people aren't too bored here. No, this was this was. I love the the direction where this went because it really helped me. I was like, hmm, these gifts, hmm, they're very giving. But I know there's something to these gifts. You know what I mean? Oh, there is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That just helped me. There's so there's much. A lot it's of... just a conduit. First, it makes it real yeah. to people. And yeah. as we access our astral body more, I mean, obviously, all your friends and students can do this. But mm -hmm. as we are, it, it's going to be the bridge reminder. You know how, like, everyone here is addicted to proof? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Prove to me you were there, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I know people who can teleport and bring back proof, but the point is, right. it's not our job to prove to anyone. It's their right. job to assume everything's possible until you prove to me it's not, is really. Right. How it that goes. is true. That is true. You know, rather than, yeah. you know. You're the one but, questioning, yeah. Yeah. And, and so there's so many levels to this where those that are operating a lot from their astral and, mm -hmm and consciously or consciously mm -hmm. i know this sounds weird but it's almost no, no, no. like mm -hmm. a bridge conduit for the astral to the physical you know what now that you said that it hit me because one of the things in indigenous people's history is that when they go to the astral the ancestors always give them gifts to come back with so this is standard 
this is standard protocol. <laughs> right. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. You see, remember I told you I went into this a virgin. Yeah, yeah. You're following. Yeah. Because I didn't want I didn't want any knowledge because what I was taught years ago is rain stop reading. And many people say, oh, that's ignorance. It's, it's not good. Da, 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 da. No, because I had to go and prepare for a specific journey. And for that journey, I couldn't have my brain clouded with information. And if I was I had too much information in my brain, I would say none of this is real. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be too rational. So for a time, I have to. I had to stop reading. And here's the fasc the fascinating thing I discovered. But it also when has I began to, to do with the purity of your being. Oh, explain. Because you're less explain. contaminated by program, and the books are all written in codes and so oh. magical and all this stuff. And you know, when people are watching TV and stuff, they're constantly getting stuff. They don't even have a clue. program, 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 so, program. So program. it was really important with mm. all the stuff you had to deal with already being a super right, 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 right. Everything else, that you maintained your purity and innocence. That is so Oh, And you know, you know, that's interesting because when you look at the wonder before the children start reading books, yes. right? Yes. Where, their eyes are wide open and they're like, oh my God, that's water. Oh, it's raining. Yes. Oh, that's that's a book. Yes. Oh, that's a ball. And Wonder why? and awe. Wonder and awe, yeah, that's and awe that's it. That's it. is that's what it. beings are trying to regain. To f yeah. That's how you have mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so regain. now it's making sense why, why I wasn't allowed to like get- children and ye shall enter the kingdom. The kingdom. <laughs> and we were literally, and when everything was singing, when everything was singing, we were literally like, I mean, yeah, it, I, like, I, like little kids. I would love, it's like, yeah, I would love everything to go, everyone to go down and experience what it's like to have, to have the life force of creation sing and welcome you home. Well, some near deathers who go across ah. over to the other side. Mm -hmm. They do describe the experience if they, uh -huh. uh, you know, don't don't fall mm -hmm. into the traps. They right. they, they mm -hmm. find that experience like that. But yeah, I I feel the indigenous people for the most part have kept that and know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, the yeah, innocent yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The children yeah. know that. That's why they want to take all their clothes off and go play in the rain. Yeah, and they have no shame. <laughs> None whatsoever, and they're just like, oh, no, no. <gasps> yeah, and, yeah, 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 and that's how we were. It's purity and innocence, and mm. um, mm. you know, less judgment, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that was Eldorado. Now, I didn't, I didn't allow them to stay too long because I wanted them as soon as we came out, I wanted them to write down what they saw so they didn't forget, yeah, because this is part of activating their, their DNA. So we didn't stay long. We stayed about 20, 30 minutes. And then I slowly brought them out. And then I gave them 20, 30, uh, like 20 minutes to write down what they experienced so they wouldn't forget. They do not. And they do not like humans knowing no. that the so-called junk DNA mm -hmm. is pre-flood DNA. Exactly. That they turned off. Exactly. And, and all our shows and everything we do is how that turns back on. Yeah. Gold yeah. seems like a very efficient, amazing way to do that because it's a source code. It's a yeah. source light code. Yeah. 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 And you know, it's not harmful. Yeah. And like and like you said, I think in part one, you said pre-flood, we probably were using a hundred percent of our brain or at least fifty percent. I mean, and I the average like hundred percent. Yeah, and the average here is ten to twelve percent. I almost forgot to tell you about one last thing King Oban gave us as a gift. Okay. He told us, he said, I want to tell you how to make living, living water surface level. The water takes the dead water, meaning polluted water, which they call dead. Okay. Uh, he said, you put the water in a material that's conductive. It can hold current. Okay. He said, what you do is you apply current 
to the conductive material. He said, but this is how you apply the actual, he said, micro volts. Yes, it's volts. Okay. Yeah, mi micro, micro volts, right? So he said on a one second, so let's say you're going for a minute, okay? And there's something harmonic in the application, right? So let's say you're going for a minute, right? So there is, um, you have 10 seconds, right? So if you're going for a minute, if you're applying the microvolt on a second, one second, every 10 seconds, it's going to be six microvolts per minute, mm -hmm. right? Right. So he said what you would do is you would apply one microvolt on a second. So one, two, three, four, five, till you get to 10, eight, nine, 10, two, two, three all the way to 10, all the way to a minute, right? He said, however, when it's time, you're, togg you're going to be toggling, you can change the frequency. And then instead of like one, one, you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five. So you're adding a harmonic resonance yes. Yes. on the micro volts, right? Yes. Right? Yes. And then he said, you could do that for a minute. You could do that. He said, maximum an hour. Don't go longer than an hour. The assumption is that on an hour, mm -hmm. a person with a, a, a high vibrating spirit is then going to communicate their spirit to the water. Mm -hmm. And he said, on surface level, that is how he said surface level, because surface level, they're removing spirit from everything. Yes. You're following Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's saying that's how you create living water surface level. That's been beautiful. We there are experiments done in multiple ways, mm. um, including the water that I drink. There's pulsed, uh, because the bottom line, and I'm sure everyone listening knows this, is voltage is health. If your voltage mm. drops down, you get diseased. Period. Right. Period because of yeah. an electromagnetic thing. And right. we, we know exactly where all those voltages are and right. everything's a frequency and every disease is a frequency and every emotion's mm. a frequency. So they're mm. trying to keep the voltage up and then add spirit to it. Yeah, he said it's electrical, uh, electrical conduit plus spirit. Yes. And he said, when the two meet, the water comes alive. Which is intention. Bingo, he gave a warning. He said, if you're gonna do this, he said, don't do it in a way where you're selling it to people. So yep. he said, if it's for private consumption or private use, like you, you whatever, private use, people come, they, whatever. So it is a gift. Uh, Everything yeah, is. and private. So that's, that's, the, the, that's how he said, he, he taught us about living water according to surface level, because below where he is, everything still has spirit. Yes. So they don't have to do this. So we're going to explain how the body changes. Now, I don't know if you're, if you're on a boat and then you go to Atlantis astrally, like you're on a boat and you go, if you're going to go through these four changes. The reason why we may have gone through four changes is because of a massive substation behind the school opening a portal. Okay. Now, the first thing we experienced was a vertical drop. And that vertical drop, newbies to traveling, they're terrified of, right? And, you know, it's reasonable, right? But it's a very sharp vertical drop, okay? And it's a vertical drop in pitch black darkness. Now, what you see, your body, your body looks like white light, vertical, and it begins to stretch like a rubber band, okay? Mm -hmm all the way until you get to the bottom. And then when you get to the bottom, when we got to the bottom, I literally, it was a hard fall, a hard hit, but you don't feel it. When you hit the bottom, okay? So that's the first change. You come back into human form, right? There is a horizontal flow of water under that school. Now, that school is on the west side, the Atlantic. Okay, so my school is on this side. Okay, going to the Atlantic is going to be on that side. What I saw deep under New York City was water 
going, pushing out to the Atlantic, right? If that makes sense. When you get to the water, you drop in the water. And in then a you, body, in a body. In the body of water that's flowing. Yeah, but you have- Yeah, in the body. body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the body, right? But that's when you hit the water. You go back to like human form, but then when the water begins to push you, your form changes. Yeah. When you get from under the land mass of New York into the Atlantic, there is a gate. It literally looks like a stargate. The water begins to push you out towards the gate, but I was able to pull myself out of the flow. And I was watching the gate in front of me as the water began to go through it. That's when I looked at the second form of my body. I was outlined, meaning there was no solid mass in the middle. I looked like a shadow being. I was still me, but as a shadow, right? Is that astral? Is that like an astral body? That's what I was thinking, like an astral body, but it was an outline. Okay. No, nothing physical to touch. Okay. Like I had my hands out like this and I was like, oh my God, I look like a spirit. Okay. Right. I was able to breathe underwater. I was able to, and I'm, I'm talking about deep underwater. By the way, you know, I don't know if it was illuminated because it allowed me to see. But you know, when I mean, I don't think when you get to the bottom of these places, I don't think they're all jet black. I think some of them are illuminated by some kind of artificial light. Yeah. Like most of the I'm just telling you what I saw. Yeah. Yeah. This, I, I don't know if that makes sense. Remember, I yeah. try to go in there virgin. Yeah, it makes without sense. Without any prior experience, knowledge, baggage, none of that, right? So I'm watching that. So the next thing is I, I was told, okay, you got to go through the gate. So New York, the, the eastern coast of New York was part of Atlantis. There was an old gate left there. And it makes sense as to why they would have Wall Street in New York and the bankers, River Bank. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, right. Yeah. Why they would have it there because it's the ruins of Atlantis. And who was it that said the United States was supposed to be the new Atlantis? Right? So there's a gate under there. And I think they know these bankers because the whole system of banking is the marine kingdom, is Atlantis. It's corrupted, but it's Atl Atlantean yes. type. People say it's Babylonian. No, it's not. No, it's not. All of the banking laws are built upon the sea. Mm. All of it. Okay, so that's Atlantis. We'll get into that in a minute because that'll take us side, sideways. So okay. I I, I want to okay, stay sorry. in the That's gate. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Okay. When you go through the gate, you change again. So this one is a horizontal transformation of the body. From the gate is where you, when you come out of that gate. Okay. Remember we we did the vertical. You were a rubber band going down. This time you're going. You're literally like a rubber band, a horizontal rubber band. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a different. Your body's different, right? It's a different portal. Yeah, because one is vertical, one is horizontal, right? You know what? You know, when we see a 3D movie, it's just whatever, and they're showing yeah. the special effects of that. Yeah. Going faster than light speed, transforming, changing your yeah. body, that's what happens. It gets stretched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, like a rubber band. Uh, that, I think that's just what's happening with your body, and you perceive it like that. But anyway, keep going. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. so when you come out, you don't come out in the sea. You come out in a temple. Once you go through the gate. Yeah, once you go to the, the, the stargate, what looked like a stargate to me, you come out inside of a temple. When we were in the temple, it was dimly lit on the inside. And I'm like, this looks Egyptian. Right? It was dimly lit. And the stones, I was like, this is a this is a pyramid. Literally. This is where As all I the pyramids around, come in. Yeah. Yeah. All As I turn around... I see this, this beautiful woman sitting on this throne, white cotton, white cotton um, style dress, okay, cut, deep cut, 
gold rings hair On and a shoulder. bob. Okay. That was the hairstyle. It was a bob. But but she didn't have on a braided bob. She had What's on like, you hair? know, like 2000 um, style Asian bob. You know, like how the Asian Asian woman wear that, that cut? That was the bob she had on. You have okay. dark hair? Yeah, dark. Dark, 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 dark. And color skin? Dark. Okay, Egyptian but, color. Yeah, 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 that's what she was. Yeah. That's what she was. But the hair was a bob, but you could tell it was a wig. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And she thanked James. She said, thank you, James, for bringing her because we've been trying to get her. And one of the things she said was, I said, oh, my God, who are you? Even though I knew. I knew. So you know when you encounter ISIS. Okay. And she's extremely feminine. She's extremely subtle. Okay, she has a very genteel spirit. Okay, she's extremely queenly. However, she is so subtle, you would think she's your friend and forget she's a queen. Mm -hmm. So there was this, this, you know, I was anticipating a sort of uh, an air of nobility. When I turned around in that temple, I turned around and said, immediately I knew who she was. Okay. Was she, she on was, a throne or standing? Yeah, or she was sitting on a throne. But I'm telling you, she was different from King Oban. It, it, it's kind of like, I've been on this throne for so long. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, literally. It's like, I've yeah. been here for so long. I'm just over all of that welcome. Yeah. So you, have, you still have to say in the back of your head, tread carefully because she's still a queen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. But at the same time, I'm getting that one of the reasons she was that way mm. is because you're from her ancestry. Oh, you know, I didn't think about that. Because she was very, like her, her demeanor was very familiar. Yes. I was expecting like a, oh, protocol. You can't touch me. You can't sit here. You can't stand there. No, she was very no, like. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, but that's what I get. That that you were from. So I was like, oh hi, okay, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, you know, I was expecting, and this is, I mean, these are some really old bloodlines. I mean, it, it, ISIS is as old as it gets. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the things she wanted, she was very, very certain about, is do not say we're Anunnaki. That is a different breed. That is a different blood. Okay. The other thing I wanted people to know is that a lot of people think that ISIS is from the stars. No. One of the things that she wanted us to know is that she is from, she wanted women to know. Women, you have a maternal lineage that's been buried. Mm -hmm. They, and she, she gave us like a brief history. And the history was when these Dracos arrived here, you, you need to understand Draco culture. When they arrived here, one of the first things they did is went to war and she wanted the world to know the planet was run by matrilineal kingdoms. Now, this is going to offend a whole bunch of people, but this is what she wanted us to know, mm -hmm. right? She said it was matrilineal. She said, when the Dracos arrived and they come to a planet and you're telling me women are ruling? She said, the reason why Atlantis sank is not what they told you. She said, we sank because we were at war with them. Yeah, with the Dracos, yeah. With the Dracos. The Earth was governed by matrilineal lines. Now, on the throne were kings, but the decision makers were the women. Mm -hmm. Okay? That is how the Earth was run. I don't find that the, that shocking. Yeah. Right? When yeah. they came here, they said, no, we can't have this. Mm -hmm. And they systematically went to war against the matrilineal lines. And here's what she showed me. She showed me after they went to war, she said what they did is they started to corrupt the knowledge. They corrupted the female archetypes. Like, uh, you know, I'm just going to tell you. 
out of the like, Bible and all of that stuff. They took all the female stuff out. Yeah, yeah. Not, but not only that, in terms of like how they portrayed women, you know, temple prostitutes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And, um, abortion, you know, killing your children, sacrificing your children to deities. These were all the things. And this, the, no woman is going to sacrifice a child. Give me a break. Something brought that here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she said it, it was literally a war. So they were left. They were left with a, cho a choice. They said, listen, for, for these female lines to survive, we have to hide. Yeah. And they made the decision, them and several other kingdoms, to go under the water and hide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because they're much older, they're a much older civilization, they, they told me, they said, listen, Renetta, now I know there are physicists saying that's impossible. They told me, they said, Renetta, parts of this earth has black holes yeah. that allows us to hide. Okay. And they, because of their, their particular form, they can't enter those black holes. They won't survive. And I think it's a, it's a frequency issue mm -hmm. with the Drake holes. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know if any of this is making sense. It is. Well, to me it is, but yeah. 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 Like the Dracos cannot enter black holes. Portals, they can. Black holes, they can't. Because their vibration won't allow them. They'll break apart. They won't come out. Mm -hmm. So one of the things they told me is that, yeah, Renetta, we hide in the black holes. And some of the biggest ones are in the Pacific. The mm -hmm. deepest ones are in the Pacific, mm -hmm. right? So she said, that's what we did. She said, we just went under and we just hid in the black holes and we're still here. Mm -hmm. And... You know, sometimes we would, you know, we would come out of the black holes, phase out, and we would just do, use shielding. We would just shield. Right. And when we're done, we just phase back into the black holes. And that's how we move back and forth. Right? So these are some of the things she said. But in terms of women, what she wanted women to know, the first thing she said was, Renetta, tell the people on the surface of the earth, the knowledge on the surface is corrupted. So one of the things I, when I told people this, they said, well, why doesn't ISIS stop it? And then she goes, when Yahweh told you don't kill, did the people listen? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's something she wanted to, to let well, people know. Well, it's also a free will. Uh, I'm learning if it's true, it's a free will experimental universe. Yeah. The free yeah. will has mm. to be respected up to a point. before. Yeah, absolutely. Before action can be taken, right? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing she wanted women to know was that she said, women, you need to understand. And this was something that I was being purified for before my encounter with ISIS. Like they were working on me before I met them. Which is really crazy because when I got there, they told me, oh, we were working on you to, in order to get you to come here. And I'm like, how? Right. And then they began to show me the steps I was taking on surface. And she said, ISIS said, do you want to know how we communicate with humans? And I'm like, how? She said, we don't need technology. She said, what do I live in? And I'm like, water. And she goes, what's in 80% of your body? Water. water. That's, that's the water. ultimate communication. Yeah. And then King Oban was like, he told me, he said, do you know how we communicate with you humans on the surface? We don't need technology. He said, every human has gold in their body. So perfect. Yep. And that's how they transfer knowledge. That's how they transfer technology. That's how they transfer like wisdom, knowledge, guiding people, waking up their DNA. They said, we don't need these stupid cell phone towers and antennas and all this stuff. They said, we just wake up the water in your body and communicate with you. So we have a whole bunch of people sitting in mental institutions. I know, I know, I know. And all I mean, you have to do is just is keep the tap just water like, poison, which it is and not give people gold but this is part of people's yeah. job is to wake up so that's why we're here she said listen the reason why women are so up and down emotionally right she said is because the men have an archetype archetypes are important what what does that mean a male deity that men can point to as their origin. And I'm not talking about Adam and Eve, okay? That's a creation from the archetype. He said, what they did for the women was they castrated that female archetype from all over the planet. And they told women they came from men. 
They said, no, women, you don't come from men. And she said, we are not Anunnaki. Stop calling us Anunnaki. She said, we come from the matrilineal mothers. We are the ones who created the female archetype, meaning the reason why women have breasts, hips, a vagina, the, the shape of the woman's body, your hormones, the, your physique, the way you look. She said, that does not come from a male design. It came from a female design. And she said, what I want to gift to women is that women begin to pursue the female archetype deity and they reconnect. She said, women must reconnect with that female deity archetype so they can be anchored. Meaning our anchor has been broken. And that was the message she wanted to convey to women. That's interesting. I'm, I'm always cautious of uh, connecting to a, any particular deity because I don't see anyone mm. as perfect. But mm. as an mm. archetype and as something that grounds you to the essence of your being so that you can acquire self-love, yes. Yeah. Self-appreciation. Yeah. Not adoration and, and worship. Self-worth, right. right. Yeah. right. I'm not talking about in religion, religious sense. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like what I'm talking about, okay, let's put it this way how a child is anchored to their parent. Yeah, yeah. And right. then the child looks like both of them. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And versus if they're adopted, a lot of times they feel something's missing and, and they right. find the, the source or whatever. There yeah. you go. And as, as they go through life, as they go through life, their parents act as an anchor as they move through this world. Right. Right. So we're not talking about worship in a religious sense. We're talking about, okay, women, you have an archetype. So someone can come along and tell the woman, okay, you're like this. You're a, you know, you should be acting like a whatever, or you should be. So or, does, or, how does Isis define herself from, I know there's no beginning and end, but it, like say, mm -hmm. so you have source, all that is. Right. No, and Isis. Is mm -hmm. Isis. Isis the first division out or like how does she define her, her well that's self? a good question from what i gather and this goes back to teachings i think that was withheld from us i think isis is way older than they're telling us yeah. and i'm beginning to wonder if she is not the the, the female aspect of creation yeah in some of my parallel research and someone uh, forward again um Oh my God, there's just so much to say, say with this. Uh, but, um, there was, you know, yeah. let's just talk about this, you know, source creator, not exactly uh, perfect, whatever else. And then there uh, were two offshoots, you yeah. know, like a male, female. Right. And um, that even had different agendas. And then yeah. certain things went down and then there was a second offshoot mm -hmm. with a, a female who was benevolent mm -hmm and blah yeah. blah blah and they continued on and that's who oh. you know kind of so so i'm just wondering it's again this Whether is she fit. yeah but here's what she did say now i'm pre i'm 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 okay this is presumptive of me okay because she made it very clear don't associate us with anunnaki we perceive them well anunnaki are not that old yeah, yeah. right so she wanted to make it clear that they preceded them and, and she made it clear. She said, we are the matrilineal lines that created the females. Yes. Right? So you're, so, talking, you're talking one of the original female creators is really. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Creators, yeah. Yeah. So I'm when she said that to me, and I they my also go by different names. In every culture, yeah. ISIS is called by different names and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, because she made it very, thank you for saying that, because she wanted to, when, when I said to her, even though I can't you, right? I said to her, I said, what, you know, what are you called? She said, on the surface, they know me as Isis. There you go. Yeah. yeah. You're very particular about that, on the surface. Did you ask what she's referred to here? No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, she just wanted me to know that, you know, on the surface, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably at that point, you're just listening. <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah. Asking questions, you're probably just listening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was, I was actually shocked because in my mind, I was trying to pay attention, 
And then okay. in, 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 there were like so much things going on in my mind. I was trying to listen to James, pay attention. I'm under the Atlantic in a pyramid. I'm a, <laughs> you're ISIS. And then I'm like, this is where I was when I was disappearing lunchtime from school. Yeah. Fascinating. Okay, so that's Isis, meeting Isis. Right. Now, Isis ends up being the guardian. Yeah, she is the gate. She is the keeper of the gate before. She is the one that gives you access to the living library. You cannot get to it without passing her. So, so I, I try. Are, when we're talking about uh, going to Atlantis, are we talking uh, about going to entering the gate where you can mm -hmm. access all of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about entering the gate where you access the living library or both? No, no, no. You can get down there, but to get to the living library, she has to bring you into the temple. Remember that horizontal yep. travel yep. I went through? Mm -hmm. Right, so when I went through that horizontal travel, right? Mm -hmm. That leads to the inside of a temple. But there's no guarantee you'd make it. Right. Yeah. Right? So I literally got pushed. A horizontal sacred geometry portal, actually, or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's, you have to have the light codes in the DNA. Uh, uh, yeah, remember I went through purification for, I would say, starting 2006. Wow. So you did yeah. a lot to prepare. Okay, yeah. so... She okays you, you talk to her, she tells you who she really is. She, yeah. she gives you this important message for humanity. And then what happened? Right. She had an important message for women. Women, humanity. Okay. Yeah, King Oban was humanity. She was for women because uh, she didn't tell me, but I'm assuming this, 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 it felt to me that um, she felt bad that women lost their way because oh. they didn't have an archetype. But that's true. Okay. If you notice, yeah, it is. if you notice this particular age we're in, you're going to see tons of women leaders. Yeah, but 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 what what are their spirits? Yeah, a lot of them have masculine spirits. That's true. It's they like, lead like men. You can overcompensate that way rather than. Yeah, remember they've been under that that patriarchal leadership for so long. They're going to lead like men: war, killing. Right. Well, the patriarch on the hierarchy is draconian. Absolutely. But the, the, the draconians are male. The circle, the womb, yeah. is female. Bingo. Right? With the family in the center. The source, right? It's a circle, source, the sun, right. the whole thing. The draco. To me, the geology that I prefer. Now, that doesn't say the pyramids aren't useful for certain things, but anyway, right. that's a whole other sacred geometry thing. Absolutely. Okay. So. Uh, after Isis, Isis is the one who she literally has to has to open open up. Oh, by the way, when I was in the temple, I was in this form. Okay. So feet were on the ground. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Feet so were on the ground. So you stabilized in that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we were in a pyramid. I'm assuming underground. Okay. Don't ask me how. There's no water on the inside. Okay. Oh, okay. oh by the way. When we went from the horizontal uh, gate into the pyramid, I can't tell you because they cut up my memory. Yeah. So it's something, something secret. They don't want me to know probably because of the implants and who's tracking me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. Okay. So You're when we went- You're wanting more information, more this, more tech, more stuff, more blah, blah, blah. And not only that, the US Navy is at war with Atlantis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think they allowed me to see everything outside of the pyramid because the US Navy already knows. Yes. When it comes from the when it goes to the horizontal portal, jumping out and into the temple, mind wipe. I can't tell you what happened. That's right. Okay. But here's what I can tell you when we got when we went from pyramid to living water. Okay, so it's back out into the water again, right? She had to give you access. Part of the access is the DNA. Is what? The DNA. DNA. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The key. The key to open. Yes. You got to have the DNA. The DNA has to be awake. Otherwise, that gate is not opening. Okay? So what I remember was that the pyramid literally opened, and we're back out in the water again. But this so time... Did you change form? Yeah. Um, 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 
this is going to sound really strange, okay? I feel like a fish. I look like a human. Yes. It doesn't sound, fr- it doesn't sound strange. Okay? Yeah. I feel like I'm aquatic, mm-hmm. but I look, my essence feels like a fish, mm-hmm. but my physical body, and I was physical on this side, going into yes, the living library. Both. And, and we may not have time to, to cover that, but oh. I have proof of both. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's get to that. Once we get out into the water, this is where it gets really crazy. There's two states of water down there. That's the secret. There is water as we know it, this density. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In front of that water is another type of water, and it's not a salt pool. Okay. Because I know some people go, oh, at that level, it's going to be a salt pool. No. A brine, a brine pool. No. It is thick gel. Yeah. Yeah. When I got out, in front of me is this massive, thick gel, but I'm in water with this consistency. I am looking at water with the gel consistency and they meet each other like this. So here's what's crazy. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. And there's a boundary, there's a boundary. For me, it literally looks like this. Okay, okay. Right, right. So I'm looking at this thing in this type of water. I'm there, okay. On the other side of the water, which is the thick gel, there is like a, um, what do you call that thing? Uh, Scenes. You know, when you're watching a movie, there's scenes. Yeah. Okay, so scenes start coming out like this, but at this speed. Yeah. And I'm like, for me, what I kept seeing multiple times was Yonaguni. Um, Yonaguni. The underground um, archaeology left over Atlantis in Japan. Absolutely. Yeah, I have, I have a photo of that, but we'll include that in the show. Okay. Right. And we went to Yonaguni, by the way. Cool. Okay. And what's fascinating about Yonaguni was the knowledge that we got there. And then the Japanese government on the 23rd of February stated that they discovered 7,000 new islands. They just discovered 7,000. How do you just discover 7,000 new islands? Well, a guy named Graham Hancock made that public uh, a couple years ago. He's a, a, an amazing researcher, but he put out a book this thick with the photographs from it. Oh, I want to see. because I, we, What I saw in Yonaguni was a different style of pyramids. But we'll get to Yonaguni at another time, right? Yeah, but I guess what, so. Yeah. Right. So we're in, uh, before I could access the living library. Meanwhile, James is trying to, Renata, what do you see? And he's talking to me. And I'm like in two, looking at two states of water, and I'm like, where the hell am I? Trying to like, oh my God, I was trying to figure out what happened to me in high school. I'm under the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> like and there's so two much of water. overload, overload, yeah, yeah. And then what's coming at me is, what was coming at me looked like a billion years of history. Probably But was. the flicker rate of this living library, because it's talking, but that's how it talks. It yeah. talks in images, images. But you also have to control your own mind for it to slow down. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, because, because and that's the thing. You have to keep a distance from it. Yeah. Because if you get too close to it, whatever you think, it will start communicating with you. It thinks that's what you want. Yeah, but James is talking to me and I'm trying to keep my mind empty. Now I'm understanding why I went through the degree of purification I went through with not reading books, not like, you know, not pursuing, you know, earthly knowledge. You know, people are thinking, oh, you know, you're ignorant and stupid for not reading books. This is a little bit different because it had I had those books in my head while I'm standing in front of this. I don't know what, it it would have been a clash of information because everything we're taught is corrupt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I would be saying this can't be real, that can't be real, that can't be real, that can't be real, because what they taught us was this what you're seeing, it's gonna clash. Mm -hmm. So now I'm beginning to understand, oh my God, that's why they took me on that deep level of purification to deprogram me from corrupt knowledge. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah? The living library speaks in images and the flicker rate is like, I mean, I saw in like maybe 10 seconds, a billion years of history. We have been utterly lied to. One of the things, the living life, oh, let me tell you what happened. So eventually I'm like, I gotta go in this thing. So as I get closer, we started to link with the library. Mm -hmm. Okay, my body started to link and sync with the library as I got closer. And then I went in. The gel literally gelled around me and coated my entire body as it hugged me like a child in an amniotic sac. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even though the fluids in the, the amniotic fluids, it's, it's thicker than that. Okay. So I'm like, I literally thought, I was like, oh my God, I'm in the womb of something. When and they are talk you about in the gel state at this point, are you surrounded gel. by gel? I'm in coated inside of the gel, but it felt like a womb. Okay. Now I'm understanding why they came to destroy the female lines because the library is literally like the womb of knowledge. Yes. Here's the thing: what I want women to understand: it was a womb. Mm. I was in a womb. That is what it felt like. I felt I was back in a maternal womb. It and inside. Mm. You in as a seed. You, That's what do it's you, like. Does it now, is it beginning to make sense? The level of purification I had to go through. The level of, of, of what's the word? Um, when you get rid of indoctrination. Deprogramming. Deprogramming. The level of deprogramming, why I wasn't allowed to read, why I wasn't allowed, especially spiritual books, because it would have conflicted. And it hit me while I was in the, it took me in like a seed. You, you said one, it. You were one of its seeds. Um, it's like we're all kind of, well, in different ways, we're like star seeds. The kids are, right. you know, you uh, seeds are a word you could use for a right, star, right. right? No, you hit it. No, you hit it. Because I was trying to figure out, why does this feel like a womb? Mm. I was like, but watch this, watch this. But it's the beginning to make sense why they destroyed the female. Yep. It hit me. In the empty DNA, the mitochondrial DNA, is the library of everything that has ever happened to humans. Exactly. So that is why there was this, this agenda to and destroy. In the living hmm. water is the because that's where I was now. That's where I was. The womb was the living library. It was water, but it was a different state of water. It's a more advanced state, yeah. Not yeah. this kind. It way thicker than this, right? And it held you. It held you. As you got in there, you were held. You were held like a, a mother holding a baby. Now, here's the thing. You can't, if you think, whatever you think, it starts telling you. Let me tell you what I, what I was taught. I don't know if any of this is true. But by, by the way, Isis said your history books are in, sorry, your time is inaccurate because they never account for cat cat catastrophes that occur outside of the earth. They only account for catastrophes that occur inside of the earth. They said when we, and this is why time is not something you should go by because they don't account for catastrophes. I want to tell you what the living library told me. One of the things they wanted me to know was that there were two planetary realignments. The first planetary realignment was between Earth and Mars. Okay. The second planetary realignment was between um, the Black Cube, Saturn, okay, and Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mars was before Earth mm -hmm. in terms of when you count them out, the nine planets, right? right. Mars came before Earth, right? 
Yeah. Mars was moved back. Earth was moved forward. Okay. When you get to Saturn and Jupiter. Okay. MVM, J. Okay. Today it's Jupiter, uh, Saturn. Millions of years ago, probably billions of years ago, it was Saturn, Jupiter. Right. Oh, our universe did a complete change. Yeah. Yeah. Our soul. Yeah. Our soul. Yeah. Yeah. It was a rearrangement. It also had two suns, two moons, all kinds of different things going on. Okay. So it makes sense. There was a planetary realignment in order to give Earth the life. And with, by giving Earth life, and then it hit me why the rulers of this planet hate this planet so much. They gave me a massive secret. And I think, I'm presuming, that when Mars had Earth's place, they were here. Mars got pushed back, probably because of their bad behavior. And then Earth was given the proximity it has to the sun, which is conducive for the life here. And that is one of the reasons why they're jealous of us. Hmm. They wanted to favor the Earth so that we could live here. And that's one of the reasons why a particular group who's not human are very jealous of us. Yeah. And then something similar happened between Jupiter and uh, not, uh, um, Jupiter and Saturn. Saturn. Something similar happened. So they got pushed back. Some got pushed forward. And I think that has to do with, again, spirit. Yeah, spirit, alignments, so much, so yeah. much, so much. Yeah, so what I've learned is that, you know, the, the depth and the power of this spirit it's powerful enough where higher entities are like, oh, so you want to you wanna devolve. We're going we're gonna to give you devolution and they're going to move you away from the sun. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this game, this, this cosmic chess game yeah. is, is like, you know, and, and they wanted me to know that because they wanted me to know you can't go by time no, because can't. they don't account for ca catastrophe and changes in the cosmos that affect what goes on inside of the earth. They're only accounting for maybe an asteroid, maybe a meteor, maybe earth changes. They said, no, that's not the way it works. And if you, and what I was told was by the computer, if you account for cosmic changes, planetary alignments, and they explained to me, they showed me, I'm not a physicist, I'm going to describe what I saw. They said, what they did is they changed the spin, the orbit, the orbit around the sun, they widen the orbit to push up, uh, Earth closer, pull Mars back, same thing with, same thing with uh, Jupiter versus Saturn, right? And this was a type of cosmic punishment. Oh, you want to be devolved? Oh, we're going to devolve you, all right. What I was seeing was they, they widened the orbit. When, when Mars was here, what they did is they widened the orbit of Mars so that Earth can come closer. And then Mars went back. And that's how they changed the planetary alignment to the sun. So that gave Earth f favored planet status. And this is what got us into the hell that we're in because a lot of these entities never got over that the planet that they were on got cosmically judged because of their devolved spirit. Interesting, yeah. So the devolution of spirit does not just affect earth life, plant life. It literally affects the planet's proximity to their sun. That's true. I agree with that. It affects everything. And the sun is the leader of the entire solar system. All the planets revolve and they all communicate together. And the sun's yeah. portal into itself and connects to the central sun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, and it, it caused us humans, when they put us here, to, to receive a massive amount of jealousy. Mm -hmm. Not changed behavior from the cosmic judgment. Mm -hmm. Jealousy. Jealousy and bullying. Yeah. Bullying. So what happened? So instead of coming here and say, you know what, let's, let's go and learn from these humans. You know what they did? They came here and they poisoned us. Poison our minds. Okay, so that was one of the things the Living Library told me while I was 
while I was in the womb, okay? Uh, I am going to say something that probably is going to get me into trouble, but who cares? Number one, what I was taught was that the darkness that you see, the tapestry, the black tapestry that you see, what you call space, it's a form of water. Yes. I can't prove this. I've been heard, I've heard the same thing from two other sources. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Because I was like, water? Okay. It's no, a form of water. No, that shouldn't get, that shouldn't, you know, they said, uh, they said travel out there is like being in a huge ocean. Yeah, that I've heard. And but also dark matter is not what people think it is. Right. It's water. It's water in a different state, right? Yes. That was the first thing I was told. Yes. And then there was something else that the water told me. It told me, um, oh, then the next thing it kept telling me, it kept showing me, it wouldn't leave me alone with this, was Yonaguni, 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 Yonaguni. When I began to vibrate with Yonaguni, Yonaguni, we're, we're being lied to. Yonaguni is about, at minimum, 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything's okay. much older than they've told you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if we're going by numbers. It's old. It like I, when I say old, I mean Yonaguni is older than Egypt, older than Babylon and Sumer, mm -hmm. older than the American pyramid building civilization. It is old. And from what I gather, I think Yonaguni, I don't know. I'm just what I when I felt the 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 the, the connection to this womb. That was water. It was like Onagu Yonaguni is the oldest. Well, you know, in East East Indian mm. language, I believe uh, when you're studying tantric uh, sex mm. or yoga, mm. it's not uh, exactly the spelling, but Yoni. Yeah, exactly. Is a female yeah. word. It is the womb. It's the womb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, And that's what, when I was in the womb, this, this water womb, but it's a library. It kept telling me, Yonaguni is the oldest. Mm -hmm. well, Yonaguni wow. is the oldest. And so, and so you've traveled there. Yeah, we went there on a different, a different, um, a yes. different time. The, the mysteries of there is totally different. And it's the interesting thing with Yonaguni is that it's harder to, to draw out the, the, the wisdom held in the stone and the water. It's because it's almost forgotten itself. I, I, yeah, I could see that. Because when I was there, it was like it get, I received certain mysteries. But I said, this is hard to draw out the knowledge here. What it gave me is it gave me an outline of what it used to look like when it was above ground. Hmm. And interestingly enough, you know how they used to, it, like how Europeans would build their forts in mm -hmm. a square or a rectangle, mm -hmm. right? Okay, you know how the forts have, um, I don't know what they're called, like these towers? circular, uh, the towers, yeah, the towers the at the fort. The citadels or towers, yeah. The citadels, that's what it's called. The citadels at the 90 degrees. Okay, Yonaguni is built like that, but at the citadels are pyramids. So what else, then what happened? <laughs> okay, so I'm in the living library. The living library is, is telling me, it wanted me to know that the origins of, of Egypt and Lemuria and Atlantis, no, their origins and um, Egypt, Sumeria, Babylon, no, it, it all started in Yonaguni. And then it began to show me the land. Mm. Much of that land is under the Pacific. I literally saw that the island of Japan stretched from Hawaii, sorry, from, oh God, it's wiping, Alaska, not Hawaii. The island of what they call Japan is a joke, okay? It's what survived. Yes. So think about that, Above right? Above water, yeah. Above water, right? The original land is Alaska all the way down to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I when they began to show me how huge this landmass was and how connected it was all the way down to Antarctica, I said the only thing that could do this is a planetary shift. They said that's what we were talking about when we showed you 
the realignment between the earth and Mars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're dealing, Yonaguni is far, far older and it went through a massive cataclysm. And something about Yonaguni, you know, was directly in relation to moving earth. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because they're well, dealing, go, go back and look at the landmass. Because I, I, when I came out of this library, I had to go on Google Earth to look. Because yeah. I wanted to say, I said, you're telling me it's connected from, uh, 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 what's this place? Uh, Alaska, all the way down to, I'm like, that's a huge territory, meaning you could walk. You could walk from Alaska all the way to Asia, all the way down to Antarctica. What could possibly cause that? That's fascinating. Atlantis, yeah. that was a lot of destroying of crystalline technology, playing with the inner yeah. Earth. Yeah, that's, you know what? You just answered the question. That could have been a cross thing. Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes it sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inner earth yeah. herself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tampering with yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's true. That yeah, You're I think like the womb of the mother earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. I can't really, I can't really prove that uh, Yonaguni came first. But that library told me, uh, uh, you're looking. They're all looking in the wrong direction. That's where they should be looking, in terms of the origin of civilization. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that was that. They're pointing in the wrong direction. It's not the Middle East. It's Yonaguni. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, trying, and I love the fact that you said Yoni. And I was inside of a womb that was alive. Yeah. That was you communicating. Mm. It's considering you a seed. And the water carries the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were mm. in the living library. Amniotic type of... And so it was giving you the information. Yeah. If we use our saliva and spit on a seed yeah. and grow that seed, it will yeah. it will grow food geared to our frequency. Yeah, that makes sense. Nutrition, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I I mean, that's that's that what you just said there was absolutely powerful. <laughs> well, and no, 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 no. Because you know. Getting we're, brainstorm we're, we're heart storming together. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's powerful and it's worthy of pause. Okay. It's worthy of pause because when you're interacting with these things, right? Mm -hmm. You're trying to understand and you're trying to remember what you're interacting with. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So when someone like yourself, who is a cosmic interpreter, oh, thank you. No, no, no. Begin to interpret. Hey, you were its seed. I'm like, oh my God. Seed goes into womb. Fertilize. I was fertilized. I was being purified and many people thought I was going crazy because I started spending copious amounts of time alone. I was being purified. And in incubation. Because the seed had to go into the right womb. Was the seed is here to create right the new evolved reality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this this reality is no joke. Mm -hmm. Like for you know, like most people, they they saw city life of Atlantis. I, I saw the undercurrent of what's holding it together. But see, that's really beautiful. That's that's and what's holding it together is that womb. Yeah. So there's there's I am not An putting undercurrent. Uh literally, and I was literally under a current, right? And what what's holding this city together? is a womb mm -hmm. so it, it 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 and what we know in biology is that we can trace back the human race through empty dna so there's a lot here we're not being taught now this thing is so intuitive okay because it's literally a fertilized egg in a womb, womb. Yeah. 
when you come out, you got to come out so slowly. Silly me, city girl, thought you could just pull out of this thing. When I began to pull out, I tried to come out really quickly because James is like, okay, it's time to come out. And I'm like, okay. Duh, 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 duh. No. When I started to pull out too quickly, it started to stretch itself out. Yeah. Following me out. Well, it's and like it, birth. it's like birth. Now that you said it was a seed in a womb, I'm beginning to understand. I like said, birth. oh my God, this woman is a cosmic interpreter. She can interpret the, the very high level spiritual things. I mean, that's what you are. Oh, thank you. No, not all. Oh, thank you. That is what you are. Well, I'm just, I'm just sharing my first impressions as you're going along. But you didn't know I felt like I was in a womb. Mm -hmm. And what goes into the womb but a seed? And also what happens when you're giving birth is it stretches until the timing. That's what was happening when I tried to pull out too quickly. So intuitively, it told me, wait, okay, wait, 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 do this yeah, 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 like you're not ready. And I literally had to say to James, slow down. <laughs> you know, because he was like, well, it's time to go. I'm like, ah, you know, and he's like, slow down, Renata, slow down. And I'm like, up there, like, slow down, James, slow down. And I had to stop. I had to stop. City girl, stop. Yes. Yeah. And then back out slow, very, very slow. Yes. Okay. And as I began to slow down, it began to slow the flicker rate. The yeah. images got slower yes. and less, and it began to release the gel like grip. There you go. Until finally I stepped out. And when I step out and you could not intuitively, I knew do not turn your back on it. That is not how you exit. You got to back out. And as it began to back out, it began to release me. Okay. And then it pulled back in slowly. Yeah. Until I was back into the water like this. Wow. Yeah. It was actually very gentle with you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a way, yeah, yeah. it was like trying to save you from who knows what could have happened if you. Had I would have been injured. Yeah, I would have been injured. I would have been injured because I think what it would have done. Remember, you're linked. You're synced. Okay, if you move fast, it moves fast. I can't receive that level. Billions of years of information. I'll tell you before you leave, you have to go back to ISIS. But I want to clarify something. When you're moving too fast, the assumption is you can hold that level of information. Mm -hmm. You're following? Yeah. I so if following. you're trying to get out of there fast, it's like, tuh, 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 tuh. no, it's going to be like, oh my God, it's going to fry your brain. Mm -hmm. Right? So intuitively, it told me, no, 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 no. Slow down. It's like a woman. You know, when she's about to give birth, as you rightfully said, her breathing has to be timed. Yes. Right? And it was literally. And slow. also, you're going into a different phase shift. The being yeah. coming out into yeah. this reality, you yeah. had to go back into the different water reality. The different water and the different matter of water. And that matter of water, this kind, yep. it's faster motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can move as fast as you want without your brain getting scrambled or fried or injured or anything like that. That level of water is literally, if you think you're going to go in there and move quickly, it's going to download billions of years of information in your head. You're not coming out of there sane. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You know, if you think you're going to go in there, a scholar, like I know everything about earth, it's going to short circuit your brain. <laughs> That's what... Like I'm being serious. Yeah, it's gonna ma it's gonna match what you want, but a lot a lot of we now know why a lot of people go crazy too. You know. Yeah, and a lot of people they go crazy when they encounter higher levels of spirituality. Blows. And I think. Yeah, and I think that's why I went through that intense. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking I went through that level of purification. I went through and emptying. It's a lot of garbage I had to get rid of. Yeah. And I was told, 
stop reading. Yeah. Like, especially religious books. Stop reading. Stop, 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 stop. I didn't know I would end up in Atlantis. Or history books. Or science. No, all of it. I had to stop all of it. Yeah. Like videos I could watch. But reading is something else because it's something about reading that holds your imagination. You know what I mean? Whereas videos, you know, you tend to forget and, you know, at a much faster rate as opposed to reading. And reading, it really shapes the way your brain functions. Whereas hearing is a different type of structure your brain, your neurons in your brain goes through. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's what, that's my experience. So once I, I step back, right? Here is, remember you asked me, you said, is there a barrier between the, the regular water, the seawater mm -hmm. and the living water. And I said, when I first met, they were like this. When I came out, there was a space. Oh, interesting. There was a space and it was like a decompression. Yep. Yeah. Then back into the seawater and it was like, yeah. And I was pulled back to Isis's temple. Isis had a gift she wanted to give to James before we left. Oh. Okay. And she held out a staff. That's funny because her staff, oh my God, I just realized that. Her staff had an orb, the yeah. same diamond, but a round diamond. That's crazy. You were given an orb. With yeah, a diamond the, oh inside. my God, I forgot about that. You were given an orb with a diamond inside, which is female. He was given a staff, which is male. You with know, I forgot about that. Brilliant. Yeah, Isis stretched out a, a scepter but her scepter had an orb that was a diamond, but it wasn't cut in the classic diamond cut. It was a circle, it was a, like a globe. And she started to chisel something on the wall. And she said to me, she said, give this to James. He will know what it means. And I didn't even get to complete the entire image, but she carved it with this scepter. And what came out of the, the diamond orb, diamond globe, okay, at the top was some kind of laser Mm -hmm. So a laser came out of this, this diamond globe and she literally carved through rock mm -hmm. this image. Mm -hmm. And she said, give James this image to let him know you were here. He will know what it means. So I spent, when we finally came out, I spent all night trying to carve this image. And I said, James, Isis told me to give you this. So the next day, James sends me an email. Right. So James does AI art. James signs his AI art in the exact same image Isis gave me. So she gave you that and then you exited back the same way, going through yes, all the different exited bodies? Back state body changing. The body has to go through these changes. I think the reason why the body went through these changes is because we entered through uh, electrical substation. Yes. Yeah. Whereas I have a friend who entered through the sea and that's a whole different way they enter. Yes. So that's what I was saying, you know, entering from the sea is different where they come to meet you and that you still need genetics to access. Okay. And whereas you're entering from land with a power station opening a portal. Ooh, that's a lot tougher. So you end up back in school. Yeah. I end up like, you're not wet. <laughs> No, 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 no. This no. happened during your lunch break. Yeah, this is one of the places I was literally being taken, but it was interdimensionally taken. Right. Like so I was gone like during lunch break. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Which means that the technology that was put in my, my, on my left side when I was a child, mm -hmm. right? I'm beginning to realize that I have to be very careful around substations. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very careful because this is the second time and it's only now I realize, hey, hold on. There's something about this technology in my body that opens gates. I'll tell you a good story of what, how powerful this technology is and why people should communicate with the elements. I did not say worship. I said communicate. I did not say worship. Because they protect you. Thank you. You got to talk to it. Let the winds know you. I don't say go outside and be crazy. Let the sun know you. Hey, sun, good morning. Thank you, wind. Thank you, earth. Thank you, trees. Let the elements know you. I am telling you. 
I would not lead anyone astray. I'm not telling them worship. I'm saying just talk to them. So yeah. where do people who want to contact you, uh, where do they go? And if they want to join you on astral travel trips, if they want to learn from you, or if they want private sessions, like, uh, why don't you tell them what you offer and where they can go to find you? Okay, great. So my website is blacksunrise.com, S-O-N-R-I-S-E, blacksunrise.com. So it's not S-U-N, it's S. -O -N. O-N-R-I-S-E.com. Okay, and on my website are the services I offer. The first one is consultations. They're pretty reasonable because I was given a mandate. Do not, do not charge people or make it affordable, Betty. Make it affordable so that people can afford it, yeah. right? So half an hour is $50. And if you want an hour, it's $100, okay? And I think that's pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. right then we have the herbs which i take every single day this is a new formulation and it's drinkable and this was designed um after careful study um for purification yeah over the last three years that's all i will say okay right Okay. So, you know, which is very important. Right. Right. Okay. And that's $20. If you buy it in the United States, it's free shipping outside of the United States. I have to charge shipping because the shipping is so much. Right. Okay. Then we offer our monthly group trainings. The monthly group trainings is $50 for two hours. And we go as the group. And that's the reason why it's $50 for two hours, because it's not private. It's a group session. And what we've been doing is I've been teaching people how to access El Dorado. And next month, we're going back to Atlantis. Okay, for the first time, actually, they're going to Atlantis. I'm going back. They're going to for the first time so that they can experience these ancient civilizations. They were dealing with someone whose blood predated Adam and Eve, and they knew that I would be telling people we don't all come from Adam and Eve. Many of us were here prior, mm -hmm. right? So one of the things, the travels that we do now, and we're gonna go travel, we're gonna do, sometimes my spirits say, Renata, purify the people. Like I said to you, I went through purification since 2006, just to get to here. Yes. So it's a very long journey, yes. right? But for me, it made sense now. But we're taking people to these ancient civilizations because it's also waking up that DNA. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we, we offer as well. If you can't make it the day of, which is the last Friday of every month. And on the last Friday of every month, it's at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it is at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. OK, so two classes, day and evening on Friday. If you can't make it, then you can always go and watch the videos, the post shows. OK, so right. that's what I offer. Um, I try to keep my prices reasonable so that I can help people and I will help anyone if you're sincere. And that's what we're doing. That's it. Now, how much um, previous experience do they need? What if they say, I've never consciously astral travel, even though we do that when we sleep. But what if they yeah. say, I don't remember ever astral traveling or whatever? Okay. So let's say the person is new and they've never traveled because we started off jumping, yeah. right? right? Okay. Uh, most people, they lift off when they're traveling, the actual traveling, and then they start moving. We, we went the other way. Right, because most people go up and then they, they access higher realms. We we literally went inner earth, which is a totally different way you travel, right? And it's a descent, vertical descent, which can be extremely scary for a lot of people. So what I do is I advise people, listen, if you've never traveled, especially doing a vertical descent, come to me first in one or two consultations, if you can afford it, maybe one, because usually I try to clear as much in one. Let me see what blockages you have. Usually the blockage I encountered is fear and it's heavy, heavy religious programming. 
they tell us that the majority of our DNA is junk DNA and we don't know what it's for. No, that's because it's pre-flood DNA that you don't want us to turn on. Yes. Because once we turn that on, it's game over for you. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So what I do is I tell people, I say, come. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And folks, I have all these shows on podcasts for your convenience, and I really appreciate you joining us. So onwards and upwards, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.